hello guys and welcome to a new video today i want to share with you guys an update on the computer because some people have asked me in the comments you know what happened to the power cable what did you do you know because i guess they're expecting computers from nzxt so i just wanted to share with you guys what happened and i'll have a picture on the screen uh showing you some more details uh, with uh, my conversation with NZXT. So when I bought the computer, it came with the cable, the power cable. It was a little bit, you know, broken. It was basically broken but my computer sh turned off after i like squeezed it you know i plugged it in it turned off but i had some problems with it every time i would play a game every time i tried to stream the computer would shut off like it would restart it would reboot without me doing anything so it would be just random reboots every like 15-25 minutes. So I reach out to them, you know, I talk to them about when is the problem occurring, when I have, um, you know, when I had OBS open and a video game, usually after like 10 minutes in, in the game, it would just restart. So they they had me send them some uh, some uh, files from the computer some reports i guess and after we talked for like almost a couple weeks almost a month uh they sent me a new part and i'll show you guys what they sent me now i was happy because uh, you know, with the whole COVID situation and the graphic cards uh, being like literally like in the thousands of dollars, I didn't want to trade it in, right? So they sent me they sent me the the whole new a whole new like uh, I guess you could call it power power thingy like it's it's the piece that goes right above over there where you have the button to turn on the computer so uh you know they sent it to me and i guess they expected me to to put it in which i did it, it was it was a little bit hard but not not that hard but anyways let me show you guys so you see i don't know if you can see but this is this is the broken one like you can see over here that's the broken one um so they sent it to me and this time it had a, a small little cover on it plus they sent it separately so it, didn't, it couldn't break in shipping it was covered like this all of them were so it took me about two hours you know to open the computer put the new thing in i made sure that like you know all the cables were like in the same exact spot i uh i made uh you know i made them nice and beautiful just like they were in the beginning so it took a while you know if i wouldn't have cared about the cables i would have probably done it faster but i wanted them to be you know all nice and like how they had them in the in the curves but it's basically just three screws there were three screws in it and then uh, a little bit of time to take them out and put the new one in so this happened like what like maybe a month ago when they sent it to me let me see um yeah yeah i guess in january 19 so a month and a little bit ago so uh Ever since I got the new, the new power, the new power thingy, 
uh, I haven't had problems with the computer. So when I was reaching out to them, I came to the conclusion that maybe because, uh, you know, when I started recording and streaming and, you know, the game was on, um, the, the GPU fans, the GPU fans would start spinning harder, right? And when they spin, they vibrate. So maybe because the cable was broken, how the GPU was right here and the cable was right here, like literally like just like a few millimeters above it, because it would start vibrate, the, the connection would start moving just a little bit, you know what I mean? It's possible, right? So I came to the conclusion that when I started the game, everything would be fine. The GPU didn't have to kick in so much air because it wasn't getting that hot. But 10 minutes in, the speed would probably rise a little bit and it would make the GPU tremble, you know what I mean? Like shake, even just a little bit. And that would make the, the connection just shift a little bit, you know? position I mean it's like you're talking about like not even a you know like a an eighth of an inch it's it's like it's that's the only that's the only explanation that makes sense to me and every time that would happen the computer because it wouldn't get the power to the motherboard or something I don't know I'm not a computer scientist, so don't ask me. It would, uh, it would probably reset, reboot the system. So of course it pissed me off, you know, I paid a lot of money on it. I don't want a broken PC, right? So, you know, they, they sent me the parts. They didn't s told me how to change it, but I guess they figured it out. But you know what I mean, it, it was, it was kind of like rude from them because like, you know, like, there you go, just change this on my work. All right, you know, I'll try it, but you know, I, I don't want to break something. Thankfully, I didn't break anything. And ever since then, I haven't had any issues. I've been recording, I've been streaming more and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a good improvement. So yes, guys, I guess this is it. So the computer works very, very good now. I have, uh, I have no problems with it. And uh, I guess thank you MZXT for the parts, you know. After I sent the, the, the report, they just, uh, they just shipped it to me and, you know, I figured out, oh, they probably want me to change things. So I, I changed it and uh, it's, it's been working well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, see you guys in the next videos. Subscribe for more and I'll, in case you guys have more questions about it, let me know and I'll try and make more videos about it. I've been very busy. So the reason why I haven't posted and I haven't been up to date with everything is because there's a lot going on right now, but I'll try and keep it up and post more. Thank you and uh, have a have a good rest of your day.